Hi, in this lecture you will learn how to use the raise application error procedure with your triggers. Raise application error is a built-in procedure that returns an error to the user and causes PLSQL code to fail. So with this procedure you can stop the execution of the trigger and return an exception. With this way you can prevent some invalid data changes. Because if this procedure is executed an exception will be raised and the triggering statement will be automatically rolled back by the server. How do we use that then? Actually, I have already shown that in the exceptions section. But I will simply remind you now. To use it, we write raise application error and two parameters. The first one is the error code and the second one is the error message that you want to show. The error code can be between minus 20,000 and minus 30,000 plus 1. You can check that lesson for the further knowledge. Alright, now let's open up our before row trigger and make it a bit more real world like. Assume that we want to make that trigger as a protection for the invalid data entrance. For example, our trigger will prevent the future hires. Let's do it. If inserting then, and let's write an if clause in here, if and that higher date is greater than sys date, then, and let's write our end if, and let's write our raise application error procedure. Let's say minus. 20,000 and let's write our message you cannot enter a future higher. And now let's prevent all the delete operations on that table. Let's copy that and write here raise application error let's say 1 and Let's write our message. You cannot delete from the employees copy table. And here we will prevent the salary increases greater than 50,000. Let's write if and that salary is greater than 50,000, then and write our end if let's invent these and let's write our raise application error procedure let's change it with two and write a salary cannot be higher than fifty thousand Now let's compile it. Great. Now let's test it. Let's write delete from employees copy and run it. As you can see, our trigger prevented the delete and raised the exception. So we protected our table from deletes. Now let's make an update higher than 50,000. Update employees copy set salary is equal to let's say 60,000. Let's run it. As you can see, it updated the first row, then checked the salary. Since it is greater than 50,000, it raised an error and stopped the execution of the trigger and the update operation. So other rows are not updated. Besides, since it returned an exception, the first update is also rolled back. So let's update our row with some lower salaries. Let's write 40,000 for example and run it. 
as you can see, no problem. Perfect. In this lecture, we made an example about the usage of raise application error with our triggers and with this way, we made our example a bit more real world like. Because most of the times, you will use your triggers to prevent invalid data entries. So this is the end of this lecture. See you in the next lectures.